What is up everybody? How is it going? Welcome to the Ecom Hunt YouTube channel. My name is Sherban and in this video we're gonna tackle the top 5 reasons why you're not getting sales with your dropshipping store. Let's just get started. First of all, I wanna make sure that we're on the same page. I know that not getting any sales can be highly frustrating. I know where you're at. Everybody's been there. Like literally every successful dropshipper that I know has been through a dark time where they didn't got any sales and it's really, really frustrating. First of all, I want to make sure that you understand that this is the point where losers and winners part ways. That's the difference between being a loser and a winner. I know that you feel frustrated, you feel like you're not being rewarded enough and you're not getting enough sales based on how much you work, but this is the part where the magic happens, okay? Take a deep breath and watch this video because I will present you the top five reasons why you're not getting sales and I hope it will help you a lot. So let's get started. Reason number one, you're choosing the wrong campaign objective. First of all, what is a campaign objective? That's pretty self-explanatory. You are basically telling Facebook exactly what you need with your ad. What's the purpose of your ad? So you're making an ad and you're selling Facebook, hey, I want you to show this ad to the people that are gonna read my blog, give me likes, uh, tag each other on the comments, buy my stuff, uh, I don't know, install my application, play my games, whatever. You are telling Facebook uh, what do you want exactly with your ads and Facebook will act just like a genie. It will grant you your wishes. That's what Facebook will give you. So to start with, if you're making an ad and you're telling Facebook that you want engagement and you want people to comment on your ads, Facebook is going to show your ads to people that are more likely to comment and to tag each other in your ads. But does this help us? I don't think so. It, it doesn't help us. Like our wallet will not fill this at all. Only maybe our ads will be full of spammers that will tag each other and they will say how good your product is, how much they like it, but they will not buy it because Facebook knows that those people are not buyers. They don't have money. They only comment on your posts. Of course, uh, these kind of objectives are good when you're already making sales and uh, you want your ads to make, you want to make your ads look good and uh, to feel good. You know, when somebody sees the ads, they want to see a lot of people commenting. That's okay, but it will not bring you any sales. Let's, let's, uh, let's get through with this and let's make things clear. Uh, this worked in 2015 where people could get sales by using uh, engagement objectives, but now we're 2019 and Facebook is offering you exactly what you're asking it, right? So it's pre it's highly optimized and you gotta know exactly what you want. If you're running a drop shipping store, I would highly advise you to ditch all of those objectives that are not bringing you sales and focus on purchase objectives, right? Let's move on. Reason number two, you are contradicting yourself. This mistake is usually unintentional. People don't want to do this, but small details just like this one can make a huge difference in your sales. What am I talking about here? So visitors of your website want everything to be crystal clear, right? What am I talking about? They don't want any scams, any gimmicks, any things that don't look right, you know? So if you're offering something, then keep your promise. For example, uh, let's say you're offering free shipping for a product. Make sure to state that every step of the way. You want your customer to see that they are getting free shipping every step of the way. On the product page, on the cart page, on the checkout page, on the information on shipping page, everywhere. You want them to know that you're giving them free shipping. Uh, for example, this is a small mistake that everybody's doing, almost everybody's doing. They are leaving the, this text that says shipping and taxes calculated at the checkout. This will certainly scare your customer away, right? If you're telling them that you're offering free shipping, but when they get to the cart page, they will get a message saying that shipping and taxes are calculated at the checkout, they will immediately press X and they will leave your store with the speed of the light because they will feel scammed. So you first told them that they are getting free shipping, and in the next step, what you're doing, you're telling them that they have to pay shipping and taxes, even though they are zero. That's a small text that will influence uh, the customer uh, pressing the X button and leaving your store and they will not return anytime soon. I guarantee you that. 
this is how it should look like. This is a free theme. This is the card page of a free theme. When they are buying the product, you show them the price, quantity, and, and uh, before they check out, they should see a small text saying free shipping applied. So you're assuring them they will feel relief. They will know that the free shipping is actually applied, right? You just have to make a small change, right? Let's move on to the next step. Reason number three, you are leaving out crucial information about the product that you're selling. Customers want to know exactly what they are buying. So if you're not giving them as many details as they want to, they will pass on your product, right? They will not want to buy it. For example, uh, you're selling something electronic. I don't know, a bunny that talks, a uh, toy, a car, a remote controller. I don't know, something that has batteries, for example. If you're not telling the customer what kind of batteries and how many batteries and the fact that you're not including batteries in the package, if you're not telling the customer this, they will not buy your product because this is something crucial. This is really important uh, for your customer to know. It's not something that you put there just to fill the space of your product description. That's something really important. So if I'm buying a remote controller or a toy for my kid, I want to know exactly what batteries does it include and what kind of plug. Let's say, for example, I want to charge the thing that I'm buying. I want to know what kind of plug am I getting the product with. If, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm getting a US plug and I live in Europe, I don't have anything to do with that product. I cannot use it and I cannot change it that way so that I can use it, right? So these are crucial uh, bits of information that need to be put out there in the product description. Uh, in order to make your customer feel safe, to make your customer feel informed, right? You want your customer to be informed and you want him to buy product uh, from your store based on the information that you're giving them, right? You don't want to leave important information out. So if you don't display crucial information, just like battery size or how many batteries or stuff like this that are crucial to the product uh, usage, product usability, you are leaving a lot of money on the table because a lot of customers will simply not buy your product and they will search for another website that has those specifics listed and it will make them feel more confident in that store and they will buy from there and not from you, right? Let's move on to the next step. Reason number four, your store lacks trust. Before starting with this reason, I have a question for you. Would you buy something from a store that you do not trust? A store that looks really dodgy, it looks like it's made by a beginner. You don't like anything from there. You don't, you don't feel secure shopping from that store. Would you buy something from it? Of course not. So this is a good way to practice empathy. <laughs> like put yourself in the shoes of your customer and see if, would you buy something from your store? Do you feel secure shopping from there? Let's say, take a big brand, I don't know, Nike.com. Go there and check out the level of security that you're getting, the feedback of security that you're getting when you're shopping at a professional website, right? You can replicate that fairly easy. You don't have to pay a lot of money for that. You don't have to pay money at all. You just have to uh, practice common sense and put yourself in the boots of the customer and surf your own website, be your own critic, and see if would you buy something from your own store, right? So if this is such a big problem, I would recommend you to make sure to look as professional, as secure as possible, because customers really love the feeling of security, right? This feeling of security is given by a few factors that can be replicated fairly easily. First of all, have some vital pages. Have an about us page where you tell a little story about your brand, right? Don't be scared. Tell the people that uh, your brand dates back from 2005 where two passionate people found love for blah blah blah. Make a story out of your brand. Don't be cold, you know. Um, have a frequently asked question page where customers will get their frequent questions answered, right? Have a shipping section where you provide information about shipping your products. Have a privacy policy, a return policy, a contact us policy. Show your customer that you're not afraid of him contact contacting you, right? Have an email, have a phone number if you can. 
right? Be as open as possible and this way your customer will feel a lot more secure and you will feel more trustworthy. Don't try to hide anything because people hate that. If you try to hide something and if, if a customer smells something fishy on your store, they will just leave it, right? They will go and shop somewhere where they do not feel that. Uh, besides this, don't be shy. Trust badges are a must in the dropshipping business. And these, this is how uh, trust badges should look like. They are badges that will kind of secure the, the customer that he's ordering in a secure place. He will 100% be uh, satisfied. He will get his money back if, if he's not satisfied with your uh, products. You offer easy returns. You offer a lot of payment methods. Right, so if they see that you're offering a Visa, MasterCard, uh, American Express, PayPal, all of these big companies that are trustworthy and known all around the globe, people will feel more will feel more secure on your website. They will feel secure shopping on your website because they know that they can pay with a big payment provider and uh, they can uh, return the product to you fairly easily, right? This is security and this is what you're looking for. Let's move on to the final step. Reason number five, no research. This is like a disease in the dropshipping world, maybe because dropshippers absolutely love to promote products that they have made absolutely no research about. They don't know anything about those products. They just saw them in an ad or, I don't know, they scrolled on AliExpress and they thought, oh, wow, I like this product, let's promote it. That's just not how it works. Uh, you need to study the market for the product you want to sell. You need to know a lot of stuff about that product. You need to check a lot of trends and you need to basically do a little research before promoting that product, right? Because you might lose a lot of money. This costs you a lot. You cannot expect to have good results if you don't do the research that needs to be done on the product you want to sell, right? Dropshipping, it's a real business it's a competition so you have to know what do your customers want you have to be one step ahead of the competition and you have to study your competition you have to study your customers you have to know what to sell them right a little shortcut to doing research is using tools that provide you with winning products right for example our amazing platform has an amazing team that's working 24 7 just for people like you that don't like to do research. Our team does the research for you and we will offer you two to three new winning products every single day for you to have and sell on your dropshipping store. This will feel like a stone being lifted from your shoulders and you will feel more at ease. You will have more time to dedicate into important matters of your dropshipping business like uh, marketing and uh, uh, customer service, so on and so forth. Make sure to check us out. You have a link in the description. You will not regret it and you will find a lot of amazing products to sell for your dropshipping store, right? These were the top five reasons why you are not getting sales. I hope they help you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a, an amazing day and see you at next video. Bye-bye.